This is impossible to look at. It's disgusting. Every day we leave behind mountains of garbage. Humanity cannot exist without producing waste, but we can't cope with it either. It would seem that there is no way out of this hellish circle. Stop. Let's think positive. Waste, paradoxically, can save our Earth's ecosystem. We realize that garbage is the most efficient alternative source of energy. It never ends, it always only multiplies. Rock presents to your attention our patented Waste to Energy technology, which will allow mankind to not just recycle household waste, but also to supply all of us with cheap energy and a number of useful raw materials. How does our Waste to Energy technology work? Garbage trucks deliver waste and dump it through a custom lid with scales and scanners without any preliminary sorting. The waste goes to a specifically designed airtight storage silo, also known as a bunker. The waste is then shredded into smaller, manageable pieces. From the shredder, a conveyor directs the waste through a hopper into our thermochemical high-temperature furnace for further processing. In it, the garbage under the influence of pressure and thermochemical treatment breaks down into three elements – liquid metal, solid inorganic slag and a mixture of gases known as synthesis gas. This mixed metal alloy is suitable for metallurgic use. Slag is an excellent raw material for the manufacturing of building materials and road surfaces. So what happens to the captured synthesis gas? For starters, the gas goes through a purification and chemical separation process. In order to separate the gas from other heavy impurities, the gas is sent to a cyclone. The waste obtained from the centrifuge effect is sent back to the furnace. The next stage involves the treatment of our gas by means of directed water flow and heat exchangers. This sector is called a scrubber. The outcome is purified, cooled pyrogas, as well as water that is sent for purification. Next, in a chemical separator, we separate various salts from the gas mixture, such as sulfur and other chemical elements. These chemicals will be sold to the chemical industry as raw materials. The purified synthesis gas becomes fuel for our turbine generators, one of the primary components of our technology. The turbines generate cheap electricity, therefore supplying municipalities and their surrounding territories. In parallel to turbines, additional energy generation occurs in steam generators. As briefly mentioned earlier, the hot syngas exits the furnace and interacts with water by means of heat exchangers, generating thermal energy and heating water, providing the local population with hot water and heat. The resulting gas can also be converted to various liquid fuels if it is locally required and financially feasible. Synthesis gas can be stored in gas holders. We also have the potential of solving the food and green mass shortage problems. Greenhouses are placed in the proximity of the plant. These greenhouses will always be supplied with electricity, water, heat and mineral nutrients like CO2 that are obtained in the process of burning syngas in the turbines. Thanks to this mineral fertilization, the productivity of greenhouses is significantly increased. We can finally breathe cleaner air while preserving our environment. Our waste to energy process is an environmentally friendly technological cycle that does not require additional energy sources such as crude oil or coal. Mankind cannot stop producing waste. Finally, thanks to our technology and its energy potential, waste will become an inexhaustible source of light, heat and cheap raw materials while helping solve the food scarcity and saving our planet from waste pileup. Join us on this mission of preparing our Earth for future generations.